Star K love you and has claimed victory in the Chihuahua Classic in front of the Bob is Adelaide proud. While Kiwi Ally won last home proved too strong in the women's race. Australian Sprint Superstar K love you and claimed the Chihuahua Classic in front of the Bob City proud on Saturday night. The 28 year old was rewarded for the Flinders Street finish line an hour, two minutes and 37 seconds after the start gun was fired before the official Santos Tour Down Under World Tour race season starts. A nine time Tour Down Under stage winner used his incredible power to rise to the top of the peloton ahead of some of the finest bike riders the Tour Down Under has seen since its inception in 1999. With you and lapping up the win, Australia's Grand Tour winner John Hindley stayed out of trouble in a race tailor made for sprint guns. Caleb Ewan has claimed victory in the Chihuahua Classic Men's Elite at the 23rd Santos Tour Down Under 2023. Lee's incredible Giro de in 2022 and has seen the Australian superstar remain ice cool ahead of the new 2023 UCI World Tour season. West Australian is just the second Australian to win the Grand Tour in more than 100 years at the toughest stage racing on the planet after Kid Evans claimed the Tour de France title in 2011. Last time I was at the TDU, Tour Down Under, I wasn't at the press conference, Hindley said with tongue and cheek. I'll put it to you like that, same old, and Aussie crowd and all the fans, I don't buy into it, I have my own ambitions. The last race at the Tour Down Under World Tour in 2020 under the wing of Team Sun Web in the watch of South Australia's Luke Roberts. He used his power to get to the top of the peloton, ahead of some of the finest bike riders the Tour Down Under has ever seen. Picture, get the images. During the height of COVID in 2020, just missed out on GC at Giro d'Italia. He finished 18th overall at Tour Down Under in 2020 and 2019 after making his debut at the event for UDSA, where he finished 25th in 2017. Warren Hans Rosen is the absolute Australian men's standout for the World Tour race, which starts with a prologue, first time in race history on Tuesday night. The winner of the time trial at the Adelaide Riverbank will also win at Wear the Ogre Leaders jersey for the Zip Trucks H1 unit to Tanuda on Wednesday. Race director Stuart O'Grady's World Tour debut will come to fruition after the two time Tour Down Under champion has attracted arguably the most exciting peloton in the history of the race. With you and lapping up the win, Australia's Grand Tour winner Giant Delay stayed out of trouble. 26, leads the Australian pack, followed by Super Grand Tour champions Chris Froome and Geraint Thomas, and slick Australian gun Michael Matthews. Kiwi claims historic victory in women's Chihuahua Classic. Ali Wallace Tonk from Team New Zealand claimed women's Chihuahua Classic on the Eagle Death Store of Maiden Women's Santos Tour Down Under World Tour on Monday. Wallace Tonk, 22, raced a victory in a bunch sprint finish on Flinders Street on City Street Circuit on Saturday night. Tease scorching 38 seat temperature was met with strong subtle winds in the early evening, which favored attacks at Wallace Tonk, after a second place in New Zealand's 2022 national road titles. Second place Michaela Drummond, race winner Ally Wallaston, both of New Zealand, and third place Nina Lewis Smith of Netherlands. We have been very hungry to get back racing. We're ready to get involved in the World Tour Peloton, a major moment for Australian cycling, Edmondson said. She was ecstatic on the Eve of the Tour Down Under making its UCI World Tour debut to open the 2023 season across. And the current Australian national road champion Brody Chapman is confident in wearing her road champion national colors at the World Tour for the entire season for the first time in her career as monumental for the climbing specialist. It's definitely as special as you would imagine wearing the national champion jersey, Chapman said. The jersey itself is always a thing that's guaranteed in your career and to be able to race at the Tour Down Under in the first race year after COVID, it's very special and it's not lost on me. Help us to bring you the best content possible. Please share, like, and subscribe.